assalamu alaikum dear friends today i'm here to explain and telling the most important mcqs of chapter 15 statistical inference by book sher muhammad chaudhry that's mcqs are very very important for all universities so must watch this video till end if you want to gain more success and that's video i will tell the reason that why the mcqs are correct i will explain that then so must watch this video so let's start the video here the uh, first MCQ is here. The estimator is a formula. Must remember that three definitions: estimation, estimate, estim estimator. First is this estimation. First is this estimation. I have already discussed that estimation, estimate, estimator. You can watch this video. I will. I will show them in description. So must watch this video of estimation, estimate, estimator. Estimation first and second is estimate and last one is estimator. That definitions are very very important for all universities. First is estimation. Must remember that estimation is a process. Must remember that estimation is a process. Next, estimate is a value and estimator which is a requirement, estimator is a formula. So must pick up that key points, these are secrets I am telling you that estimation is a process, estimate is a value and estimator is a formula. That's clear. Next is moving that an estimator is called bias. That's very simple. We know that an estimator is said to be an estimator an estimator is said to be an estimator is said to be unbiased estimator we have already known that i have already discussed in this lecture estimation uh, etc an estimator is said to be unbiased estimator an estimator is said to be unbiased estimator if expectation of theta hat is equal to theta. So must remember that an estimator is said to be unbiased estimator if expectation of theta hat. Theta hat is the point estimator and theta is the population parameter. So expectation of theta hat is equal to theta. That's all as unbiased estimator. But here MCQ is uh, saying that an estimate set is called bias. So an investment is biased, that is will be exposition of theta hat does not equal to theta. So must remember that if estimator is unbiased, then expectation of theta hat will be equal to theta. But it will be but it will be biased, then expectation of theta hat does not equal to theta. So must remember that key point. Next moving the part. An estimator is called negatively unbiased estimator. Next point is very very important for you. Now I am discussing that third MCQs. An estimator is called negatively unbiased. Very simple. An estimator is said to be negatively unbiased. That's if expectation of theta is less than theta. But if it will be positive, but if it will be positively when expectation of theta hat will be greater than theta. So must remember that if an estimator is called negative and positive, if expectation of theta hat is less than theta. But in positive case, expectation of theta hat is always greater than theta. That's MCQs are very very important for you. Next moving that, fourth part. The estimator of mu is x bar. Very simple. The estimator of mu v x bar. How? Very simple. We know that expectation of x bar is equal to mu. I have, we have already know that expectation of x bar is equal to mu, where x bar is a sample statistic, but mu is a population parameter. But here, x bar is a estimator, where x bar is a estimator, but here mu is a population parameter, mu is a parameter. So, must remember that the estimator of mu, the estimator of 
म्यू इज एक्स बार सो एक्स एस्टिमेटेड विच को एक्स बार सो मस्ट रिमेम्बर दैट द एस्टिमेटेड ऑफ म्यू इज एक्स बार विच इज एक्स बार बट इन दिस केस expectation of theta has equal theta if he ask in any substitute that they don't discuss that but they discuss that that must remember that the estimated of theta i will say that the estimated the estimated of theta is theta hat so must remember that the estimated of mu is x bar but the estimator of theta is theta hat that's clear so must remember that that point is very very important for you now we're moving that an estimator is would be consistent if variance of estimator theta hat becomes zero as n closeness period that's the criterion for consistency consistency we have discussed that's the criterion for consistency that variance of theta hat here we can say that now we can say that variance of variance of theta hat become zero must remember that in consistency criterion for consistency variance of theta hat become zero if n approaches infinity so must remember that that is clear that an estimator would be consistent if variance of estimated theta hat becomes zero becomes zero and and closes to it that's clear next moving that six if efficiency is greater than one then t1 will be more efficient then t1 will be more efficient so right answer is a so must remember that if efficiency is greater than one then t1 will be more efficient not t2 just t1 will be more efficient is that clear next moving t1 will be more efficient than t2 that substitute is very very important must remember ask me t1 will be more efficient than t2 if variance of t1 is less than variance of t2 so must remember that that's the definition of efficiency that t1 will be more efficient than t2 if variance of t1 less than variance of t2 is that clear next moving that a part a executes a executes is very very important for you this repeats all the universities mean scale error msc is abbreviated as mean scale error is equal to expectation of theta hat expectation of theta hat minus theta completely scale we can say that the expectation of scale difference between estimated and population matrix so uh, we have cleared that concept that theta is the population parameter and theta hat is the point estimator so must remember that that key point i have discussed that point estimator what is point estimator point estimator we have single value so must remember that in point estimator that's why a very key point in point estimator we have a single value but in interval estimation but interval estimate that definition are very very important for you in interval estimation interval estimation we have a range we have a range so must remember that point estimator we have a single value and interval estimation we have a range this definitions are very good that's the difference between point estimation and interval estimation that's clear next moving that we have cleared the concept next moving down nine executes is an estimator a random variable that executes very very important for you is an estimator random variable yes because estimator has different values we can all we can say that estimator has because because estimator has different probability distribution because estimator has different because estimator has different probability distribution different probability distribution so must remember that 
is an estimator new? Yes, we can say that estimator is a random variable because estimator has different probability distribution. Or we can say that different probability function. Next, we in that part, blue. Blue is very, very important MCQs. What is blue? And blue is abbreviated as best linear unbiased estimator. So must remember that what is blue? That MCQ, that definition is very, very important. Okay, what is blue? Blue is the best linear unbiased estimator. Definition of blue is that among many unbiased estimators, that estimator would be best linear bus before which variance is least. Well, I, I can say that I write the definition that will be very, very important for you. What is best linear bus estimator? I'm, I'm discussing that definition. So we have a clear concept in that. Blue, what is blue? Very simple. We can say that definition very simple. Among many unbiased estimators, among many unbiased estimators, definition is very, 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 very easy. Among many unbiased estimators, that estimator would be that estimator would be that estimator would be that estimator would be best linear best what would be best linear on biased estimator for which variance is least on biased estimator for which I am telling the definition of blue. What is blue? Very, very important for you. Very simple definition. Easy wording. Among many unbiased estimators, that estimator would be best linear unbiased estimator for which for which variance is least. For which variance is least. So must remember that that's the key point that among many unbiased estimators, that estimator would be best linear for which variance is least. For which variance is least. I have already discussed that point in blue. In next MCQs, that variance is always least. So I have cleared that two MCQs. What is blue and what is the uh, what is the mission of blue? So I have cleared that concept uh, for which among many unbiased that is going to be best for which variance is least. Clear? Next, moving that. Level of confidence. Very very simple. Level of confidence is equal to one minus alpha. I have already know that this is the shape of normal distribution. This is that one minus alpha, and here is alpha by two, and here is alpha by two. So level of confidence is one minus alpha. So must remember that what is level of confidence? We can say that level of confidence is equal to one minus alpha. Is that clear? Next will be that. Confidence question. What is confidence question? What is equal to confidence question? We can say that 1 minus alpha 100 percent. That's the confidence question. Not this. So must remember that we can say that 95 percent. For example, 98 percent. We have said that 99 percent. These are called as confidence question, not confidence interval. That's called as confidence question, which I have calculated. So must remember that confidence question is equal to 1 minus alpha 100 percent. That's clear. Next moving that, very simple. Pi iota square root x iota is equal to x square x of short x. So must remember that pi shows for further part. We have already know that x1 plus x2 of sort xn is equal to summation x0. Well, we, have, we have already know that summation is equal to summation x0. But in product phase, that's called as pi. So product case is pi and plus case is summation. That's clear. Next, last, uh, last MCQ is very, very important for you. For checking the unbiasedness of t1, t2, we should take Efficiency. So must remember that if we calculate efficiency for efficiency, we should check that we firstly should check that T1 and T2 bachelor estimators are unbiased and not. And to check the unbiasedness of T1 T2, we should take 
एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट वेरी सिंपल थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग द वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन कैन यू मस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल एंड मस्ट प्रेस बेल आइकन बटन टू गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माय न्यू लेक्चर गुड बाय